What's up guys, welcome back. If you're anything like me, you could probably eat soup all year long, but there's something extra special about a nice warm bowl of soup during those cold winter months. And today I have something very special for you. I'll be showing you how to make this delicious lasagna soup. This recipe has all the great things about lasagna with half of the effort, and the best thing about it is it reheats really well, so it's good for meal prep. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Very similar to your traditional lasagna with a few additions. We have lasagna noodles here, or lasagna pasta. We've got ricotta cheese, boars and garlic and herbs. Two pounds of ground beef. You can do this with turkey or chicken as well. We got some Italian herb paste, tomato paste, our tomato sauce and crushed tomatoes, beef broth, grated Parmesan cheese, one onion, basil, parsley, and garlic. All right guys, first things first, we're gonna start prepping our herbs and the garlic. As you can see, this basil has seen better days, but it's gonna serve its purpose. I'm gonna pluck some of these stems off. We're gonna use the basil leaves. I like to stack them on top of each other and just roll them up, no pun intended. We're using the herbs that you cook with, not the kind that cook you. And just give it a nice rough chop like so. We'll do the same thing with our parsley. Lots of fresh flavor, guys. If you wanna use the dried stuff from the store, that'll get the job done if that's all you got, or if you wanna make this extra quick and easy. But fresh is best for a recipe like this that only has a few ingredients. There's the basil. Slide that off to the side. And this episode is sponsored by Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. As a member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, they'll even match it. One of the things that I love most about Thrive is that you make back your annual $60 membership in savings. And if you don't, Thrive Market will credit you the difference. In today's world, it feels like there's a subscription for everything. So why not combine all of those in one with Thrive Market? Thrive Market carries the highest quality grocery essentials, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, supplements, personal care items, organic kids products, wine, sustainably sourced meat, seafood, and more. Thrive Market is my go-to for all of my healthy snacks and my avocado oil that you guys see me use all the time. I'm a big fan and I think that you'll like them too, so click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash mrmakeithappen to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive market today now when it comes to garlic it's super easy guys I like to cut this little piece off there take the flat end of your knife give it a few taps to crush it and then we'll just give it a nice rough chop you can mince it up nice and small if you want to next up we're gonna prep our onion all right guys, so you can't have lasagna without a ricotta mixture. Here we have eight ounces of whole fat ricotta cheese. We're gonna take this to new heights by adding some additional flavor. This is half of a pack of boars and garlic and herb cheese or two and a half ounces. We're gonna go ahead and add that to our ricotta for additional flavor, creaminess, all that good stuff. Once that's in there, we're going down with about a quarter cup or so of grated Parmesan cheese and then about a half cup of freshly shredded mozzarella cheese. Now we're gonna take some of that fresh basil and parsley that we diced up earlier, add that to the party, and we're gonna season it up with my all-purpose seasoning, as well as some red pepper flakes. You can taste as you go, adjust the seasoning to your preference, guys. In my opinion, this is much better than plain old ricotta fresh from the store. It's gonna have a lot more flavor. It's gonna elevate your soup quite a bit. Just get in there and mix everything to combine. But that's what you wanna look like when it's all said and done. Go ahead and pop that in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve your soup. You could double this recipe if you need additional servings, but this should be enough for, you know, four to six servings or so for your lasagna soup. All right, guys, so we're gonna get our Dutch oven or soup pot, whatever you decide to use, nice and hot. Add a little avocado oil, 
And then I'm gonna add in two pounds of ground beef that I'm gonna smash down to make sure it's making good surface area contact with the skillet. That's to ensure we get some crust, which is gonna provide texture, color, and flavor. Same concept as making like a hamburger or a cheeseburger. You just wanna give it some time to develop that nice crust, get a good sear before we start breaking it up. All right, so as you can see, there's quite a bit of excess fat here. We're gonna go ahead and strain that off. We use a ladle, probably the easiest way to do it. So once you've cooked the ground beef, we're going in with that diced onion. Give that a minute or two to cook down. And then we'll start to season everything up. I don't like to season the meat until I strain the fat because you end up losing some of that flavor. So we strain some of the excess fat, leave it a little bit in there, and then we'll start to season this up here in just a moment. All right, so to beef up the beef flavor, we're going in with a little beef bouillon powder. This is optional, guys, but it does add some great concentrated flavor, a little umami. We're gonna add some of my all-purpose seasoning, or you can use a little salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, stuff like that. A pinch of red pepper flakes. Again, optional for those that are avoiding the spice. And then I got my Italian herb paste and tomato paste. About a tablespoon of each. We give that a mix. It's already smelling amazing and the garlic's not even in there yet. So that's how you know you're in a good spot. Now the garlic has entered the chat. Add that at the end, because garlic has a tendency to burn, so you want to give everything a head start before that garlic gets in there. So once we have all the flavor in there, everything's cooked down, we're going in with four cups of beef broth. That's gonna help deglaze the skillet, so make sure you scrape the edges and the side and the bottom. Get all that flavor off of there. And just gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And then we'll add in our tomato products, the crushed tomatoes and the tomato sauce. And it'll start looking a little bit more like a lasagna. All right, so after we let it simmer and reduce a little bit, the house is gonna be smelling amazing. Get in there and mix everything together. And now we're going in with one can of crushed tomatoes, about 14 ounces, followed by 28 ounces of tomato sauce. Give that a mix and then we're gonna break our lasagna into thirds, add it to this soup, and let the pasta cook in this soup, infusing all that flavor until the pasta gets al dente, roughly 15 to 20 minutes. And it'll be just about time to plate this up. So now I'm gonna add the rest of that basil and some of the parsley, save some of the parsley for garnish, but most of it we're gonna go ahead and add in there with the basil, right on into the soup, add a little fresh herb flavor, a little color. Can't go wrong with that. Now, right before we add that pasta, we're gonna add a pinch of sugar just to balance all the flavor. Give it one final taste test to make sure you nailed it. If not, adjust it as needed. Oh man, that looks good. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever had lasagna soup or if you intend to make this. Let's give it a quick taste test, see where we're at. So for the final seasoning adjustment, we added a little bit of salt after that sugar a pinch more of this beef bouillon and a little bit more of my AP and we should be right on the money. Now at this point you want to take your lasagna and break it into three pieces. Add it right on in there. Probably about six to eight noodles or so depending on how much lasagna you want in there. Let's give that a mix. We'll put the lid back on there. Let that simmer away for about 15 minutes check on our noodles to make sure that they're done, and then we'll be ready to plate this up. And this, my friends, is how we're looking after the noodles are done. Doesn't get much better than that. Make this on a nice cold winter day. You got something nice and comforting on your hands. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plate this up. Grab yourself an ice cream scooper or a third or fourth cup measure and scoop out that ricotta cheese. We're gonna hit it with a little fresh chopped parsley for a pop of color. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is get in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, it's time for the moment of truth. Gotta get some of that cheese. We're looking for the perfect bite here as usual. Here we go. Mm. Ingredients and it's done in less than an hour. Perfect for. I don't want to just.